who can multitask, innovate, explore new vistas, achieve and lead. We are the graduates of the Defence Services Command and Staff College, the premier institute dedicated to groom the commanders of the armed forces for tomorrow. Here, we encourage already proven leaders to rewrite the history of our proud services, to chart new paths, to break the boundaries that constrain us in our journey towards mastery of our environment, not only to protect and defend our nation, but to help forge new paths for our nation to reach its true potential. The Defense Services Command and Staff College has its ultimate goal to be the trust that helps raise our graduates to a higher plane, to imbue its graduates with the knowledge and skills to master their professional skills, to drive to push their limits to become the best that they can be, and to infuse them with life skills that help them to become better officers, great leaders, and men of integrity and character. The officers who graduate through its portals embody the spirit of the college motto and philosophy to war with wisdom and knowledge. The DSCSC is unique in the military annals of the country. Its journey began in 1998 as the Army Command and Staff College in collaboration with the British Staff College with the aim of equipping middle grade army officers for higher responsibilities through the development of professional knowledge and understanding drawing in a few selected Air Force and Navy officers as well as those from the police from inception. By 2006, the Army Command and Staff College had produced a significant total of 252 staff qualified graduates. It was at this time that a historical turn of events initiated the conversion of the Institute into a joint entity. The college transformed, changing its name to the Defense Services Command and Staff College. Four wings comprising of three academic wings and an administrative wing were established. The importance of a joint services atmosphere became an underlining focus given that the country remained embroiled in a cataclysmic war. It was by uniting the teachings of three forces, strategic, operational and tactical concepts were imbued into the war doctrine. Hence, on the 22nd of January 2007, amid much celebration, the Defence Services Command and Staff College ceremonially opened its portals. Modelled on similar colleges around the world, the DSCSC immediately commenced the first joint course with a total number of 56 student officers from three forces who would train in a joint environment. Affiliated to the University of Kalania from its inception, the college now awards the Master of Science in Defense and Strategic Studies by the General Sir John Kotalavala Defense University. Today, DSCSC flies high the flank of sustainable knowledge, poised to become an education hub for the military in this region and aligned to the national vision of making Sri Lanka a holistic education center for South Asia. Today, the college continues to chart new paths. In the year 2008, as a measure of goodwill, the government of Sri Lanka extended an invitation to a number of foreign nations to nominate officers to enroll in the staff college. Since then, an increasing number of foreign officers from all three services across the world have passed through its portals, taking the message of professionalism to the world. The college has now extended its multifaceted educational reach to civilians, augmenting the scope depth and breadth of knowledge and training into the civilian mindset as well. The DSCSC incorporates training workshops with the other global staff colleges conducting technical warfare and joint warfare packages. Under the Directing Staff Exchange Program, knowledge and experiences garnered from militaries of other countries are incorporated into the course curriculum. Over the years, the DSCSC has been fortunate to work staff colleges in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Malaysia and India, whose officers have been in Sri Lanka to share their knowledge. The environment of academic excellence that prevails here at the DSCSC is also sought by many outside organizations to conduct programs of strategic importance to the national security establishment. Typical of this was the workshop conducted under the auspices of the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the promotion of truth, justice, reparation and guarantees of non-recurrence for the senior ranks of the tri services as well as the workshop on managing defense in the wider security contacts conducted by the Defense Military Institute of the United Kingdom, which saw the attendance of 30 serving officers of the Tri Services. A team of directing staff led by the Commandant of DSCSC conducts seminars annually on counterterrorism at the Bangladesh Staff College, Mirpur. Responding to an invitation extended by the Turkish Army War College, the college extended its presence in the defense seminar in Turkey.
working in collaboration with the Development, Concept and Doctrine Center, Ministry of Defense, Sri Lanka, United Kingdom, facilitates DSCSC to revive the existing doctrine and concepts to match the current teachings. Presently, the dividends of this package are jointly enjoyed by the students of DSCSC. Over a period of time, the recognition of DSCSC advances with the increased number of audiences with the local and international VVIP and VIP delegates. This allows the DSCSC to explore new skills, talents and knowledge in military and academic thresholds. The college is governed by a board of management chaired by the Secretary, Ministry of Defense and that includes State Secretary, Ministry of Defense the Chief of Defence Staff, three service commanders, the Commandant, the Vice-Chancellor of the KDU and other representatives. The course of study is extensive and works on six principal objectives. A multi-pronged philosophy heralds a balance between education and training and a comprehensive understanding of the nuances of command and staff training inculcating the value of military history as a learning and understanding practice asserting the value of research and the application of doctrine to compel an unequivocal understanding of the end objectives. To more effectively achieve the aims and objectives of the college, 10 core values have been introduced to meet the evolving challenges that new millennia of 21st century and beyond brings. These core values are designed to be the fundamental foundation in producing officers who are holistic, well-balanced and able to innovate solutions to the challenges that emerge continually. In addition to military doctrine teachings, content on global issues and the impact these have on Sri Lanka are also studied intensely, encompassing 50 weeks of education, learning and training within the residential course. The curriculum is designed to be intellectually challenging and stimulate logical problem solving. The course encompasses an orientation module followed by four progressive terms. Term 1 focuses on foundation studies and Sri Lankan studies, while Term 2 fields operations of war and international affairs. Term 3 becomes more intense with counter-insurgency operations, operations other than war and strategic studies, while Term 4 prepares students for joint operations, management and technology for a fully-fledged understanding and maturity of expectations. Echoing features to similar colleges around the world, the DSCSC's teaching methodology includes self-research work, central presentations and lectures by a qualified faculty and eminent guest resource persons, interactive syndicate room discussions, map exercises and command post exercises to create lively discussion forums. In addition, tactical exercise with our troops to grasp principles of the operations of war are conducted for added benefit. Formal individual assessments are detailed as read in corrections, while daily assessments are conducted by the faculty. Students also undertake a process of wargaming, which helps the students to get practical experience in finding analytical and pragmatic solutions for different situations encountered in the battlefield. With the DSCSC's constant focus on developing a curriculum that has currency and aptness for both present and future requirements, another significant expansion within the training curriculum is the addition of familiarization and trading tours to different countries on overseas study tours. The growth and development of the students remains in the hands of the directing staff whose knowledge and abilities have also to be kept owned to a racer's edge if the college is to effectively meet its main objectives. With this in mind, the college initiated directing staff workshops headed by reputed scholars to assist directing staff to apply a new perspective on how they should improve their approach and their philosophy. But it's not all work and no play at DSCSC, extracurricular activities are central to the comprehensive growth of knowledge and skills as our evolves and accolades. From developing interpersonal skills to camaraderie among each other, the college has various events designed to give these achievers an overall grasp of the world around them. The families have plenty of activities to instill fellowship, fun and enjoyment. Students also have the opportunity to excel in the sporting arena, utilizing the sporting facilities including the fully equipped gym, sauna and swimming pool, cricket, tennis, basketball, squash and badminton facilities.
the officer's mess provides an elegant dining ambiance and a diverse offering of gastronomic experiences. The student officers are provided with high quality accommodation within the compound of the college itself while the directing staff too are provided with the necessary facilities to carry out their vocation in a conducive environment. Married officers are encouraged to reside with their families in the married accommodation provided for within the college. The very active ladies club ensures multicultural interaction, encouraging foreign spouses to join in as well. The ladies club is a vibrant and progressive entity within the college catering towards self-development. The spouses also participate in the events organized by the diners club to share information with evident personalities on a variety of subjects. This has retained a highly rewarding facet in growing unity and fellowship among spouses and children, multi-religious and social activities with the participation of foreign student officers and their families have strengthened bonds among foreign countries. The future of the DSCSC is all about using advantages of technology to step into a paperless IT integrated environment. Aligned to this, facilities have been upgraded with the addition of state-of-the-art auditoriums to reflect changing times. Moreover, student officers are given opportunities to avail themselves of an all-embracing knowledge culture that will meet their career aspirations and national goals. The main goal of the DSCSC is to produce not only a staff qualified officer but also a complete man equipped with multi-disciplines to serve the nation better. In this endeavor, the officers who excelled in academics are handpicked to offer Commandant's Honours which is an extreme difficult task but have achieved a fiv. Over the years, officers who have passed out at the top of their batches have been conferred with the prestigious accolades of the Golden Owl and the golden pen for performance excellence. The graduate officers also take immense pride in placing the Masters of Science in Defense and Strategic Studies and an acronym PSC behind their names. The prestigious gold insignia that denotes the prestigious past staff college status on these graduate officers now make them the vanguard of the new Sri Lankan profession of arms. They will have the precious duty of taking the DSCSC to greater heights to take the college, the Sri Lankan Armed Forces, to take its place as the unequivocal best of the best.